What's up everybody and welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create awesome animations like the one you're seeing right now using Adobe Character Animator absolutely for free. Even if you're a beginner, this should be simple enough for you to follow along. Since my last Character Animator video, a lot has changed with Adobe Character Animator. One of the biggest changes that is now in the software is that there is now a free version that you can use absolutely free to create your animations and it's so easy to use that even if you've never used it before and this is your first time trying to animate you should be able to follow along in this tutorial i'm going to teach you what to do step by step so let's get straight into it all right the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download the software so you want to head over to the character animator website i'm going to put a link to that down in the description if you head over there you're going to click right here on start for free if you don't already have an adobe uh, account you will be prompted to create one uh, because i already have an account it's going to sign me in and it's going to open the creative cloud software so once you're in the creative cloud software you want to just go right there down below and find adobe character animator now because i already have it installed it shows up right here on my installed applications so i'm going to go ahead and open it up so once you're done installing yours you can open it up and also follow along with the rest of this tutorial so when you fire up the software if you have the latest version of adobe character animator if you've already installed this before or if this is your first time installing it you're going to notice that we now have this starter mode this is something that is now new in the software now this starter mode is what's available for free in adobe character animator it's a simplified version of adobe character animator it's quite limited you can't do as much as you can do with the pro version but it's still uh, good enough for you to create some decent animations that you can share online and use for some social media posts and things like that if you want to switch to the pro mode you can do that by clicking use pro mode right here or if you click right here on the top where you have the starter you can go ahead and click on use pro mode but we're going to cover the pro mode in another video for now we're going to keep it on the starter mode and i'm going to show you how to navigate this to create awesome animations so the first thing you want to do is to choose your character so as you can see we already have a bunch of characters here that have already been pre-designed by the adobe team and they've put it up on here that you can use to design whatever kind of uh, animations you're trying to design and if you are not happy with what you see here and you're trying to look for other characters you can always click on the see more button and that is going to take you to the adobe website where you have uh, several other puppets that you can download to use uh, in whatever project it is you're using and they have a tons of these and there are also other websites that give you uh, different puppets that you can download so you can go ahead and go right there and download it and just import it into the software all right so for our demo i'm going to pretend that i have a youtube channel that gives money advice and i run something called money monday so i want to create a quick episode of my money monday with some nuggets for uh this current monday and i see this guy here in a suit that looks like a financial kind of guy uh business starter so i'm gonna click on that as my character for this animation all right so i have my character loaded up here and i'm gonna walk you through how to navigate around so there's several things you can do um you can move uh, your character around anywhere on the space right here you cannot scale it down like you can in the pro version so you'd have to just stick with this default uh sort of character size that you have right here to change your background you simply go right here to the bottom right and then there's a little icon if you click on this it's going to open up uh your backgrounds uh there are a couple of backgrounds right here as you can see that the adobe team has preloaded into the software so one of the limitations of the free version is that you have no way to use your own custom background but there's a workaround to this and i'm going to talk about that towards the end of the video so how about we go ahead and select a background that's a little bit more appropriate uh for our money monday and then we're going to go ahead with this now there are two ways that you can animate the character the first is using your face uh, and your facial movement so as you can see right here to my top right i have a little window here that is using my webcam to capture my face so it's going to capture my facial movements so if i did things like uh blink my eyes you can see the character is blinking if i move my eyebrows uh the character should move and as you can see as i'm speaking uh my character is also a lip syncing to my vocal words and if i move my head as you can see right here uh the character also moves with my sort of facial expressions on my head so it's a really 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 easy way uh for you to start with motion capture now for the lip sync uh like i mentioned you can record your lip sync and you can also import your recorded speech so for this particular initial first demo i'm gonna go ahead and actually record the speech hello there and welcome to another episode of money monday your weekly dose of financial advice today we're gonna be talking about having an emergency fund 
You want to make sure you have three to six weeks of your money saved as an emergency fund for a rainy day. That's it for today. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. So now that I have my lip sync captured and my facial movement recorded, I can play that back to see what that sounds like. Hello there and welcome to another episode of Money Monday, your weekly dose of financial advice. Alright, and let's say I'm happy with what this sounds like and looks like right now. I want to add a little bit more animation to the character. As you can see, it's a little bit steep. His head is moving and things like that. But generally, the character is a little bit steep and I want to make this a little bit more animated. Now, they have something here which are triggers. So if, you watch, if you've watched my other character animator tutorials, we've spoken about triggers, which you could trigger with the mouse buttons and things like that. But in this starter pack, they've made them a little bit easier where you have uh, predefined uh, buttons that you can click or icons that you can click, which can perform different kinds of uh, character uh, animations for your character. Now, one of the limitations you'll see here that you can do with the pro version is that you are limited to these animations and you can do any custom animation like uh, clicking the hands and moving the heads and doing some of those more granular animations that you can do on the pro fashion but they have a few things here that are also good enough so like you see that uh the character can do things like wave and uh you know point his hands and, and move things just to give it a little bit more life so i'm gonna go ahead and drag some of these to my character for example when i said hey there uh he should probably wave his hands and the way you put this is that you just drag them and put them on that point of the timeline that you want the animation to last. So if you hover your mouse to the edge on the timeline, uh, the icon changes and you can click this to make the animation either shorter or make it a lot more longer uh, to the way you want it to be. So I've gone ahead and added all my animations the way I want them to fit in the timeline. So now we'll go ahead and play it back to see what this looks like. Welcome to another episode of Money Monday, your weekly dose of financial advice. Today we're gonna be talking about having an emergency fund. And to export the video, you can choose the different formats. So uh, this is landscape right now for YouTube. But if I wanted to do a portrait mode, I can switch it and you can see it automatically uh, resizes it for that and I can move this around. Uh, if I wanted to do this for like Instagram, I can change this to a square and the different formats. So that I'll let you do that quite easily. And then once you're done with all of that and you're ready to share the video, you simply just click on the little share icon right here and um, they'll uh, let you choose uh, different sizes. Uh, that you want to share it with and then you just go ahead and click on export and this is going to export uh, your video so now let's go ahead and show you how to also work with pre-recorded audio so if you have your audio already recorded and you want to animate it on here i'm going to show you how you can do that so we're going to be doing a little fitness demo and i've recorded audio using some ai tool i'm going to show what tool that is in a separate video that is coming up soon so if you want to see that do make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when that comes out and that's also your way of supporting this channel so if you enjoyed this video so far uh, the best way to support me is by hitting the like button and also subscribing to the channel so we're going to use this fitness uh, character kind of looks like a fitness character right here so i'm going to click on that to start my new project but then this time around instead of recording i'm going to use the import uh, recorded speech option and i have my audio already pre-recorded here so i'm going to click on the audio so if I play that back. Hi there, and welcome to my Fitness 101 video. Are you ready to get fit? So as you can see, uh, the lip sync has already been recorded uh, to the audio that I added. But one thing you will notice that it does not have the facial movement. So to do that, you have to record that manually with your webcam. And it's very simple. You just hit on the record face option right here. Beep, beep. Hi there, and welcome to my Fitness 101 video. Are you ready to get fit? So and once that is done, you can go ahead and add all the other animations just like we did previously by clicking on them and dragging them to your timeline. Alright, so far this is looking good. Finally, we're going to look at a few tips that you can use to navigate some of the limitations of this free version. For example, right here, I have this uh, nice background that has been designed for me for my Money Monday. And I even have a custom table that I've, I already designed for the Money Monday and I would like to use this. Uh, instead of the stock backgrounds that they have as well as maybe add some background music and things like that to make it a little bit more engaging a video now in the pro version of uh, adobe character animator you can do this easily within the software itself but uh, in this free version there's these limitations that you can do that so i'm going to walk you through some few tricks here that you can use uh, to navigate this um, if you do not have money to buy the full version so the first thing that they allow you to do is that when you go to the background section they allow you to set uh, your background as a solid color like blue, uh, green and other colors. So 
you want to set um, your export as a green background. So when you export your video, it's a green screen background and you can take this to an editing software uh, to take that out and add the other assets. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. As you can see, I already changed the background here to the green screen background. So I'm going to go ahead and export this out and then we're going to take it to an editing software. All right. And for my editing software, I'm going to be showing you a free tool. It's called ClipChamp. Uh, and it's available online on your browser so you don't actually have to install anything and it allows you to edit your videos for free um, at least you can do a lot of things for free so i'll show you how you can use this free tool uh, to edit this video to make it um, a little bit more engaging so i have the tool opened right here and you just go to freechamp.com i'm going to put a link to the tool down in the description so i'm going to uh, once you've signed up and created your account you just want to click on create your first video so i have that right here i have my project opened so next i want to import all the assets so the green screen video that we exported and my background image and the also table that i designed i'm going to import those so i'm going to click on import media so i'm going to go ahead and select um the two the three files so this is my money monday file here and on my table and also the studio file and i'll click on open and this is going to import it into my project now all you want to just simply do is drag out the video so I'm next also going to drag my new background. Now, whatever background it is you want to use. So I'm going to drag this background and put it right here. Uh, you want to make sure you put it on the bottom layer. So I'll put it right here at the bottom. So I have uh, the background right here now, but I still cannot see it. Uh, that's because, again, we still have our green background on top. And we're going to fix that real quick. So to fix that, it's quite simple. So just click on the top image, your green image. And if you go right here to the right, you will see where it says filters. So click on filters and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're going to see a filter that says green screen. And now when I click on it, as you can see, voila, our guy is now, uh, the green background is now taken out and we can see the background that we have put. Now, one of the advantage of doing this again on an editing software is that you can do things like scale this. So if this is not looking right, you can scale this. You can't do this on a uh, character animator. So you can scale that. And then uh, finally, I'm just going to add my table, the one that I designed. So I'll put the table right here on top. So I have my table right here um, on top. I'll just fit this to the timeline here and just drag it uh, to fit all the way to the end and then drag this right here to fit all the way to the end. So I have the table. I'll just resize this. Uh, probably it looks a little bit too big. So I'm going to resize it a little bit like so. Again, this is quickly put together. So if you have a custom background and custom assets that you want to put on top of your animation, you can use character animation uh, animator to do all your animations and import it to a tool like this uh, to add all the background. Now, this already looks a lot better. So let's say we also wanted to add some background music to this um, because we can't do that on character animator. Um, you can just go on here on this tool itself. They actually have a bunch of free music uh, that you can use. Uh, but again, because I already have a subscription to uh, Envato Element, I talk about that a lot on this channel. That is what I use for all my media assets. I've gone ahead to find a more suiting music uh, that fits this video. They have much better high quality video uh, assets and music animation tools, uh, PowerPoint presentations and a bunch of stuff. They have that available for a one time monthly subscription. If you want to check that out, you can get a seven days free trial to have access to everything they have in their collection. I'll put a link to that seven days free trial in the description. You can check it out and download it. So I have downloaded a, a music that fits this uh, best from Envato Element. So I'm just going to go to my media and then import that music file and it's called Inspirational Business. So that's going to load that up here uh, to my project timeline. So and that's what it sounds like. So I'm just going to drag that and put it right here at the bottom. And I'll zoom this out, just come right here to the edge and then I'll simply uh, split this. So that's going to cut it out of uh, that to trim it to the particular size. And uh, if you click on it to the right, you have the option to adjust the volume so that it's, uh, your music is balanced out. So let's play this and see what this sounds like. Now. Hello there and welcome to another episode of Money Monday, your weekly dose of financial advice. Today we're going to be talking about having an emergency fund. You want to make sure you have three to six weeks of your money saved as an emergency fund for a rainy day. That's it for today. I'm going to catch you in the next one. So as you can see, within a few minutes, we were able to put all of that together and we used all free tools today without having to actually use any paid software. If you want to see my other animations and character animator, those are going to be popping up right here. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe so you can see my other animation tutorials and other tutorials that will be coming up soon. Thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.